Welcome back to our home for another video. Today we are finally taking care of this bathroom. This is our master bathroom and it has looked like this for months. So literally within the first month, my husband went through every room in the house and patched all of the quote unquote imperfections that he saw. And so pretty much every room looked like this. And um, this is the last one, I think, that we have all of that patchwork, all of the paint uh, testing spots, and it is it is due time for this room to get the love and attention that it deserves. We don't do anything crazy, nothing big, but the little things that we do make such a big impact on this space and it feels so calming and peaceful now going into this space and I really hope that you enjoy it. Please watch through the whole video and let me know what you think. Um, I hope that it gives you inspiration for little things that you can do to transform your space because this really did make such a great impact on ours and I love to share it with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Just like fire. So we are um, doing our master bathroom and where we're at right now is my husband, I think I already have a clip for you, but he took down the old light um, and we got a new one and you'll see it's the same one that we got for the powder bathroom that we did. Uh, we just did a four light. So previously we had a five light like Hollywood type mirror or um, light fixture and you know needed to be updated a little bit and I really like the one that we got for the powder bathroom. I love the, the um, glass shades, the texture on them and it's really simple but still being kind of elegant and a little bit vintage vibe so that's why I really like it. Plus I got these on an amazing sale so I think I explained in the powder bathroom makeover video that that light fixture I got off Wayfair and I got I think it was the open box it was either on sale or it was on sale and an open box price, but I bought it for like $60, which for a three light vanity mirror, especially I think it's pretty, like a nice one, um, that was a good price. And then when I got it, it had a little imperfection on the base and it gave me the option to either return it or to take 40% off of it. So I got it for like $20 and that was great. So when I went on Wayfair, while well, I was just looking in general for a light, um, I saw that the same one came in a four light, didn't come any bigger, which we had a compromise on. We wanted to use that same, that light, but uh, we had to go with one less light bulb, which I think it'll be fine. We have a big window in our bathroom, plus we want to add a light above the shower way later on. So anyway, the light we got, I ordered on Wayfair. I got, it was on, it was on a sale, plus it had an open box price. So I wanna say it was $60. I got the four light for $60. So no imperfections that I could see. <laughs> uh, that's not the game I'm playing, but uh, still, that's a great price for a uh, vanity light. So we'll be replacing that. But all that to say, he's taken that down. He, we've had the walls mudded for ever months and finally got to sanding them today. We had to apply some more mud around the light. Um, so we had to let all that dry, sand again, caulk, let that dry. So I just wiped down all the walls. Very important step. I didn't show it just because uh, the lighting isn't great because we don't have a light. <laughs> obviously but um also i've shown it in so many other videos that when i'm painting so i wiped down all the walls like twice and then i wiped down all the baseboards so because i'm about to edge so um i i've been holding a screwdriver in the last couple of videos because my tripod is like 
jank and the thing to adjust the um, angle it broke so I we had to replace the screw and I could only do it with a screwdriver so this is this is the way we live so um, we're going to edge and then hopefully this doesn't take as long as the other projects painting projects that I've done but this seems to be the pattern so let's just go ahead and get going Stitching always takes so long, <laughs> like literally and just mentally edging takes so long. It's one of those things where you start and it's fine, but halfway through or not even halfway through, I regret taking on the project, but it's always worth it in the end. I You see this door here to the left of your screen. That's actually the linen closet that we have inside of the bathroom. I totally forgot about that. We're not tackling that in this video because I forgot about it, but that will just have to be accomplished at a later date. Um, I We really don't even use it. Um, I think if we stay in this house long enough, the long, long-term plan is to make that like a toilet room and then extend the shower from where it is now all the way to where the toilet is and let that whole side of the bathroom be a large shower. But um, that's that's really one of those projects that <laughs> it's like extravagant in a way um, or just really in depth. And so we just have to weigh that pros and cons and the expense. And so um, right now we're just happy with these little changes that we're making. Um, and this really is the bulk of the change. Like I add some decorations and some little things. The light and the painting are the main things. We don't change the flooring mainly because, again, if we do go with a bigger 
uh, renovation down the road where we expand the shower, then um, the flooring would be torn up anyway. And so we have ideas, but we didn't want to commit to that. I don't paint the, the vanity cabinet uh, in this video, but you do see later on us looking at a couple different paint colors. And we did decide on one, but I think it's just a good practice to sit on that, especially with paint color and with furniture, vanity furniture like that. I just want to sit on it. So I'm just keeping it on my vanity letting it sink in seeing it in different daylights one of the big things that I'm having to learn like this learning curve of uh, doing projects on YouTube is that I don't have to have all of the things ready and put together <laughs> for you like I want to I want to have a very well put together video for you uh, that's complete and uh, just thoughtful but at the same time I just would never get videos out if I was waiting for everything to come together. And I think it just shows more of the realism of like, this is what we could tackle now. I don't have to have everything ready right now in order to get you a video. Um, so that's just real life. I don't think most people function like that. And um, I don't want to function in a YouTube world. I just want to function in my own reality and take you with me. So that's just something that I'm learning. And with that vanity, I, I just don't want to keep putting this off um, in order to have that complete just for YouTube world sake. So um I'm just letting you in on the process, the mental process for me, but uh, there was a lot, <laughs> there was a lot of thoughts going on as I'm painting because again, it took so long, but uh, you're about to see just how big paint, <laughs> a big of a part paint plays, and then we'll get to the really fun stuff in a little bit.
The painting is done. So this is Ethereal White by Sherwin Williams, I believe. Um, and it's the same top color that we used in the powder bathroom makeover. We just saw it. It was, you know, the smartest choice. We already had it in the sheen that we needed for the bathroom and we thought it worked well in both spaces. This white does pull very differently in different sunlights. So sometimes it pulls green, sometimes it pulls blue. So it's just very interesting, just a warning, but I do think it turned out really well. So here I am, I am caulking this little shelf. I had this vision here. I just wanted to build this out. It was so bland. There was no molding. So I wanted this little shelf to sit into the window seal and then add a little bit of molding underneath to make it look like it was always intentionally there. So I'm caulking it. Um, our caulk gun was being really weird. So, but what I like to do is have a dry cloth and a wet cloth. If you use a wet cloth, too much then it takes like it almost strips the work that you're doing but it does help when you have excess so I use the dry rag whenever uh, I'm trying to smooth it out I'm using the wet rag whenever I'm clearing off the excess from the other parts that it has smoothed onto so this time I'm learning from our mistake from the powder bathroom and I'm using wood filler for the nail holes the caulking did not work well for us when I tried to do it for the powder bathroom so there we are and I am going to paint the little molding part the same as the wall color just to blend that in and make it look really intentional. Here I'm adding a new toilet paper holder. I'm using the same one that I ordered for our powder bathroom. I just think it looks really clean uh, and streamlined and I think it uh, just fits way better than what we had before. And um, you can see I have my little helper. So we're going to tackle all these little things. We've already hung up all of the hard hardware back on. So like the towel hooks that we had before next to the shower and my um my mirror um I the little um magnifying mirror that's uh hooked onto the wall you'll see I when I first moved in I was like oh I'm taking that off it looks so like old school and you can tell I wear glasses so um my little blind self has loved it. <laughs> I don't care if I, it's like a grandma thing. This makes me think of my grandma because she had one in her bathroom when I was growing up, but it, it is a lifesaver for me getting ready. So I'm going to keep it. And then this is the hardware. I just wanted to to get something for these cabinets to make them look more dimensional. I had something very similar saved on Amazon, but all I could find was just really bright, stark gold and then super shiny silver. And I wanted something in between and Hobby Lobby had it. I waited for their knobs to go on sale because they do, I think every other week. So I just waited and I got those on sale. So they were about 250 a piece and I got four for in here. And then I did go ahead and grab two extra to put on the hutch that we have in our bedroom and just to keep like a cohesion going um, and I think they're just really elegant and pretty so I wanted to have them in there so this is the paint that we decided on I think it has just enough green to pull in the bedroom color but um, enough like brownie um, brownie. <laughs> I wish I had enough brownies, but I love enough brown to like just ground that, uh, that vanity. So we're going to keep this up here and just test it out, see how we like it long term. And then maybe that will be a video in the new year. Right now I'm just going to paint, uh, this little molding strip. I think for now I'm going to leave the wood, just this pretty light. Uh, I think it's a pine. Yeah, I intentionally chose pine because I think I looked up that it was the best uh, in moisture levels. So um, I'm, I'm just going to leave this pretty light pine for now um, and then just blend in this molding. This is just ceiling molding um, so that I, it would look seamless from the wall to the horizontal board. Um, but we're going to keep moving along and then we'll move into cleaning and then the really fun part. Full stop. I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening, and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything 
everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm to figure something out about cleaning this tub because this was killing my back. Uh, You don't see me clean the shower. I actually do this typically whenever I'm in the shower. It's just easier for me Um, while we're in there to just clean it real quick. I keep like a clean uh, cleaning sponge that has Dawn and vinegar in it. And so I just wipe it down while I'm in there. Uh, I will, you know, show you occasionally, but for the most part, that's just more practical for me to clean it while I'm taking a shower every now and then. Um, But here uh, next, we're going to do the floors. They need it. I mean, my downstairs floors need it, but the mop is right there. And so um, bringing it all the way upstairs is just this, these floors needed it. So I'm glad that we're starting off really clean before we get to the decorating, which is coming up next. Thank you. 
As you can tell, I was really working off of a budget in this room. We paid for the paint, we paid for the supplies to make the shelf. These two picture frames uh, were bought new, but they were like $7 a piece for a 16 by 20. The prints were new, so I ordered those off of Etsy, but I waited for them to be on sale. And then I had them printed through Optiprint, I believe, uh, was the brand that I printed them through. And I had a coupon code for that, and I waited for one of their holiday sales. Um, so... I was looking for just deals all over the place. Plus, um, I mentioned it before, I was allowing myself time. I wasn't trying to buy things to have this ready by a certain amount, a certain time. So I afforded myself the ability to thrift. So the two really pretty jars, the smaller jars that you saw, those were thrifted from Goodwill. Um, the holder that I put the plant and the, the toilet paper on. I, that's a, I'm sure it's just a iron plant stand, but I used it for that. I thrifted that. It was about $4. Uh, the things that I put on my counter were all thrifted. I showed them in a, a video a while back. Obviously, this little glass dish was thrifted. I I have since found my essential oils and have put them in there. The plants were new, of course. The little mat was new. Um, but again, that was $9. I found it at Ross, which I thought was a good deal for the size of mat that it was. It's really soft, too, so I was really surprised. The light was new, but I got that at a deal, as I mentioned before. The hardware was new, but waited for that to go on sale. So I, the main point of me mentioning that is that you can do, you can make really subtle but beautiful changes without spending a ton of money. Just give yourself time, give yourself grace and know that this is your life. It, only you will see it if it brings you joy then that's all that matters. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you next week. Bye, friends.